And as we'll see, the forces uh, play a very important part in today's ceremonial events, as they do. Uh, but there's one Scottish regiment in particular that held a special place in the Queen's heart because really a, a gift, it's a remarkable gift that was given to the then Princess Elizabeth by her father, King George VI. For her 21st birthday, Her Majesty was gifted the Argyll and Southern Highlanders by her father. And ever since then, she's held us quite close. It was quite heartening to see that she would wear the Argyll's brooch whenever we were on parade. And that demonstrates to me just the connection that she's had throughout and since her 21st birthday. In a typical year, Balakava Company will conduct ceremonial events split between Edinburgh, London on a number of occasions, and also up in the Highlands for Balmoral. I think nobody can fail to have a degree of pride uh, at that point, especially marching onto the forecourt of Buckingham Palace. My name is uh, Pony Major Mark Wilkinson. I'm the Pony Major for the Royal Regiment of Scotland. That involves me looking after the regimental mascot, uh, who is Corporal Crook in the fourth, wherever the regiment um, is in the limelight. Nine times out of ten, Crook in the fourth there in front centre. Crook in the third uh, was a special wee friend of Her Majesty. He retired in 2012. We would use Crook in the third to show Crook in the fourth the ropes, so to speak. She would always ask for him. She would always say, and where's the wee man? Her Majesty learned to ride on a Shetland pony when she was four years old. Peggy, a gift from her grandfather. I think Her Majesty knew Shetland ponies inside out. She knew they had a, a temperament of their own. What we call in Scotland, we angry man syndrome. Um, he thinks he's a Clydesdale when he's just a Shetland. Um, and I think Her Majesty loved to see the naughtiness as well as the, the showing off. Her Majesty had a real sense of humour and, and whilst uh, rigidity and discipline is, uh, is inherent within the military, uh, she secretly loved it when things went wrong. We were parading in um, Stirling Castle. She'd went and met one of the colour sergeants and the, his daughter presented her with a bouquet of flowers. As she came walking up, I noticed a wee glint in her eye. The posy of flowers were still in her hand. She came up to meet Crookin and Crookin thought this was breakfast. So he'd went in for a wee nibble at the flowers as Her Majesty told him to get away and pull the flowers back. She then said to me, Pony Major, why do they always go for the flowers? And she had a beaming smile on her face and, and that, the pictures and the news stories went all round the world, all round the world. In the formal occupation of Balmoral Castle takes place usually at the start of August and it's marked by a military parade outside of the front gates of Balmoral itself. Typically during summer course in Balmoral, the Sovereign will host two Gillies balls. The ball consists of naturally a Highland dancing and there's every possibility that uh, the soldiers could end up dancing with the Queen and naturally we have to prepare them for that so we don't look the fool and uh, the, the interaction, that personal interaction was something that uh, both provided a lot of nerves for the soldiers, a lot of excitement, but it's memories that they will take with them uh, for the rest of their lives. One evening, uh, myself, my wife, we were invited to one of the Bothies on the estate um, to dine with Her Majesty. She uh, straight away would start making the uh, salad dressing uh, setting the table and uh, the, the night culminated with me doing the washing up uh, alongside her, um, which is a, is a lovely memory. She was, yes, a very important lady, but she always made you feel at ease. She never looked down at you or, or talked down to you. She would engage in a conversation. And she always made you feel that she was listening and she always remembered. She always remembered what you spoke about before, if something had happened, and then it left me thinking, I've just spoken to Her Majesty the Queen. And it was as easy as pie. 
When I remember Her Majesty, I think the things that really will shine through to me are that sense of duty all the way to the end, her work ethic, uh, and the fact that she set the example and lived by that example. Her affection for the military, that ability to find commonality with anybody, traits that I, I will I will take uh, with me and, and from my interactions with her, uh, especially whilst I was on the Royal Guard. Such a nice insight uh, into so many layers there of the Queen's relationship with uh, the armed forces, from the personal, taking interest in the animals. Um, honestly, it's a, it's, it's a delight to see and to share people's stories like this and someone who knows all about the relationship with the armed forces. Um, my fellow broadcaster, former Royal Marine, JJ Chalmers. Nice to have you with us. It's uh, lovely, lovely to be here. Um, today of all days and Edinburgh, you know, looking spectacular.